Welcome back to Class Act for Episode 5, our Halloween special. This week we have a few on-theme news stories and information about the upcoming presidential election. Later, we have interviews from students about their Halloween costumes, coverage on MAU sports, and a Halloween skit. We also have Halloween-themed trivia for the, this episode's game show. You're watching Class Act on Southwest Tech TV. Tabor. And Jasper. Make up good. <laughs> Here's two of the athletes from our seasons. Asper. <laughs> Rawr. He's awesome. Her buzz in. Welcome to my favorite segment. That is incredible. This week in the news, we are going over Bennington's Harvest Fest, annual rumors of poisoned Halloween candy, and the presidential election coming up very soon. This October 19th was the third annual Harvest Fest. A fall event that took place in downtown Bennington. The festival featured over 60 craft and food vendors, live music, dancing, and a fantastic display of Bennington's autumn colors. One of many events hosted on Main Street, Harvest Fest celebrates the town and the season. It was hosted by the Better Bennington Corporation, a nonprofit organization committed to improving and revitalizing downtown Bennington. In the season of spooks and scares, there's one very real fear that many parents of trick-or-treaters experience. You may have heard of Halloween candy being poisoned, drugged, or having blades or needles put inside to trick an unsuspecting kid into being harmed. These rumors go around every year, spreading especially quickly online, especially with social media sites like Facebook. However, it may not be as big of a threat as people seem to think. In 2023, NPR News just interviewed Joel Best, a professor who's been studying contaminated candy since the 1980s. He said that while these rumors have been going on for decades, there's no evidence of any injuries or deaths from candy tampering, and it's not necessary for parents to worry or check their children's candy. With this in mind, you and your family can have a safer and happier Halloween. The presidential election is coming up very quickly on November 5th. This is your reminder that if you're 18, you can and should vote. Young adults' votes can be very important in elections. So take this opportunity to make your voice heard. The instructions to register to vote can be found on vote.gov. That's all for this week's news. Now we'll hand it over to Finn, who is interviewing students about what their Halloween costumes will look like in preparation for MAU's upcoming costume contest. In episode 6, we'll be revealing what their costumes actually looked like. What are you going to be for Halloween? Ghostface. I want to be a unicorn. I'm going to be Princess Peach from Mario. Because my family is holding me at gunpoint to do it. Uh, a fish. <laughs> I'm going to be Remy the Ratatouille. I'm going to be a pumpkin. I think I'm gonna be a kitty cat. I'm gonna be a minion. Uh, I actually have two costumes, one for school and one for uh, ho actual Halloween. For school, I'm gonna be a flamingo, and then for actual Halloween, I'm gonna be a wacky inflatable tube man. Hot nun. Oh. My sister wants to be Wednesday from the Adams Family, so I kind of got like roped into it, so I guess I'm gonna be Cousin It. Still thinking about it, maybe, maybe not. Do you think you're too old to dress up? Nah but I don't know. I probably still would. I just got to get a costume. Tundra Okamoto from Demon Slayer. I was thinking a pirate. I've got a big pirate flag in front of my house. Uh, I've got plans for turning my leaf blower into a cannon and using a 500 watt powered stereo speaker to make a cannon blast to echo from my house all the way to Mr. Uprights. I'm going to be Bubbles from Powerpuff Girls. I'm going to be Spongebob. That's all for Student on the Street. Now, time for sports. Hi, this is Play by Play. I'm your host, Jaden. And today could be a bit of a shorter segment, but I got some people from some of the sports teams. Just asked them how they felt about how their season's going as we're getting closer to wrapping up all the fall sports seasons. First person that's up is Alexa, who is on the girls varsity soccer team. Hi, my name is Alexa. I'm part of the girls varsity soccer team. I'm a forward. Um, my season's been going really good. Honestly, we've been really strong together this season and we have our first playoff game this Wednesday on Spinelli. So come. 
I think that the biggest challenge we have is when we go up north, we play on turf and we have a grass field, so the ball moves a lot quicker on a turf field. So that's just something that you have to kind of get used to. But I would say that's the biggest challenge. The best moment was probably when I scored my first goal. It was just really nice and it was just a lot of energy coming up and it was just super exciting. And it's always a good thing to score some goals. We have our playoff game against South Burlington on Wednesday at three on Spinelli. And then if we beat them, then we go up to Essex and we just see where we go. Next up is gonna be Asher from the boys cross country team. My name is Asher Lozon and I'm a member of the boys cross country team. It's been a great year. We've had a lot of PRs this year. Um, the team has been growing really well. We've adapted well to challenges we've faced. Um, in each meet, we look stronger than the last. It's just been a fun year so far and I think it's really good because it's prepping us for next year. This has really been a good growth year for us and getting us ready for next year. Yeah, in the beginning of the year, I was having some Achilles problems. I've had trouble sometimes with like energy. I've just had lack of energy and I just had to push through it and uh, do my thing. And at times it was hard, but in the end I made it through and uh, still struggled with it a bit, but yeah. The Fetford race was really good. That was a great meet for me. I had a massive PR that race. Um, and I got, I believe, ninth place in the meet too. So that felt really, really good to have that. That was probably my best memory so far this season. Yes, States is this week. Um, it's, I think, the last meet we have for the year. And uh, it's definitely something that I'm really looking forward to and hoping to place good and get a good PR in that. The last person for today is going to be Logan, who's on the varsity football team. Um, I'd say it's been going pretty good. Uh, we definitely did better than Vermont's expectations for football. Made it to the playoffs. First time in Division One since around 2016, I'd say. For me, I had to battle with the small groin injury, but for the team, just there hasn't been too many challenges. We've had some big mental issues during the beginning, but we've started to narrow those down. For me, uh, the whole first game against Rutland has been a great, it was a great game for me. For the team, uh, I'd say upsetting Fairhaven was a great, that was beautiful. And almost every game that we've won was an upset. We've been projected to lose every week, so. Saturday, we play Champlain Valley at 1 o'clock for playoffs. I'm really excited. Great team. Supposedly the best in Vermont, but I guess we'll see you on Saturday. That's all I have for you today, and thank you. Hey guys, oh my god, I love your costumes. Those are so great. What are you, a cat? Uh huh. Awesome. Well, have a good night, guys. You're a trap. Oh my god, that's creative. Why are you knocking on my door? Get now! Nah, I don't do candy. Get out of here. Do you see my light on? Do you see my porch light? Do you see my porch light on? Get out of here. <laughs> hey. You guys are really skinny. You ever been to a gym before? This is, here, you need this, it's a protein bar. Oh, thanks. Go to a gym, okay? okay. You guys are welcome. Okay. Oh, my grandbaby! You 
can take one. Take one. Take one. One. I said one. One. Only one between the two of you. One. One. Hey. I really like your guys' costumes. Really, really shows off your figures. Um, I actually, have, I have it inside. If you want to come in. Okay. We okay. Come on, come on. It's gonna be fun. Hey, how's it going? Good. What are you, a pumpkin? Uh, I'm, a, I'm a tropic pumpkin. What are you, um, a old man? I'm a cat. No, you're not. <laughs> you can have a piece of candy. <laughs> That's a bad cat, so you don't get this. It's the end of the night. Have all my candy. We don't really do that here. It's you guys are a little old for Halloween too. I'm only seven. No. Six. No, go go play with some cards or like do something. Go do something else. I'm out of candy, so I'm taking yours. No, no. Take one or die? Like we have to take one? I'm gonna take all of them. They don't even care about us. Like, what are you doing? Oh no! <laughs> and welcome back to Buzz In. I'm your host, Xavion. And today we have two teams. We have the winners and the floor cable covers. Now this game show is simple with simple rules. You have 10 seconds to buzz in and there are two answers max per question. Get them right, you get one of these in front of me. For your first question, name the town that is the setting for a film, well for the film, A Nightmare Before Christmas. <laughs> the winners? Halloween Town. That is correct. Yes! Oh. The next question is, how much is estimated to be spent on Halloween by Americans each year? Six million. <laughs> I'm supposed to call on you first. Now, since you don't have any points for me to take away, consider this a warning. <laughs> the winners? Um, I would say probably about three million. You both, you both are incorrect. Cable covers was closest. It was six million. Oh, Next question: What's another name for a lycanthrope? 
Werewolf. That is correct. He didn't call, he didn't call on you. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. Hey, I didn't call on you. So he that's on me. That is, that is on he me. He didn't catch it. He, he didn't catch it. That is on me. That's so okay. No. <laughs> Technically, you still broke the rule, so I do I do have to remove points. And you learn how much it is. You are losing five points. <laughs> Wait, how, oh how many do we have? Right the right Come on now. Well, you get points since you technically got it right, so you're at like 15 now. 15, okay. Okay, that's pretty reasonable. Okay, next question. What do you call a group of witches? <laughs> the floor cable covers? Did, did you push it? A gang. No, that is incorrect. The winners? A covet. A, a coven? That's is, what I said. Okay, I was just making sure you are correct. I heard a covent, and I was like, say that. <laughs> I have a lisp. Yeah. Nope. Yeah, I have a speech impediment. You serious? Yeah. Don't sound like it. W. Oh, no. There's a reason oh, they call oh, us oh, the winners. Yeah. <laughs> Next question. Where is Transylvania, otherwise known as the home to Count Dracula, located? The floor cover, <laughs> well, the cable covers? Pennsylvania. That is incorrect. <laughs> you serious? Oh, yeah, the like winners. Italy. That is incorrect again. The correct answer is Romania. Mm. Yeah, I knew it was yeah. first. Next question. Why are Americans so fat? <laughs> <laughs> the winners. Because they eat so much. Correct. That is technically correct. The answer is an overconsumption of food and insufficient amount of physical exercise. What is the name of the spooky island the gang goes to in the 2002 Scooby-Doo movie? Cable covers. Spooky land. That is technically incorrect. Spooky island. That is correct. You know, I literally watched the movie the other night. I love that movie. It's an island. Shout out to Scooby-Doo. The next question is, in The Nightmare Before Christmas, what is Zero's nose? The cable covers. A little pumpkin. I forgot. <laughs> I'm gonna count that. It's a jack lantern, but yes. Now, with the winners holding up to their name with a 55 point lead, with the four cover, well, cable covers only with 10 points right now, let's see if they can bring it back with my favorite segment, You Said That, where we take famous celebrity quotes and we see if the contestants even know who said them. For the first quote, I should have gone to college and gone into real estate and got myself an aquarium. That's what I should have done. Was it said by A, Eric Mendez, B, Drake, C, Jeffrey Dahmer, or D, Morgan Freeman? The four cable covers. A. That is incorrect. Okay. The winners? C. You are correct. Yes. Wasn't that like Peter or something? No, that was the last one. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> For our next quote, I see dead people. Was it said by A, Jeffrey Dahmer, B, Jason Voorhees, C, Kendrick Lamar? <laughs> the winners. C. You are correct. Jesus Christ. Don't even need this. Though. Don't need <laughs> it. <laughs> we don't need no D. They call us the winners for a reason. This next quote. Only cried for 20 minutes. Was it said by A, 21 Savage, B, Jack Harlow, C, SpongeBob, or D, Johnny Depp. The floor cable covers. Jack Harlow. That is incorrect. The winners. A. That is also incorrect. The correct answer was SpongeBob. Now we're on the second to last quote. Never apologize for how you feel. It's like being sorry for being real. Was it said by A, Kanye, B, Lil Wayne, C, Kodak Black, or D, Elon Musk? Um. Four cable covers. Kanye. That is incorrect. <laughs> oh, <man. Okay. laughs> the winners? Elon Musk. That is also incorrect. Dang it! Was said by Lil Wayne. Lil Wayne. And our last quote is, I support, I support anyone's right to be who they want to be. My question is, to what extent do I have to participate in your self-image? Was it said by A, Charlie Chaplin, B, Dave Chappelle, C, Bill Murray, or D, Danny DeVito? <laughs> The floor cable covers. B. That is correct. So, you know, there can only be one winner here. And 
the f the floor cable covers. I'm sorry, but you guys only got 45 points. That means the winners stood to their name and got 110 points, oh, making them the winners of this episode. Number one, baby. Winners for life. Winners. We don't move for anybody. Uh, you you hold the trophy. Yeah. You choose who keeps that. <laughs> and can we get a round of, of applause for our contestants? Come on up. It's too easy. Too easy. It comes naturally. And that has been it for Buzzin'. I was happy to see you all come back for this episode, and I can't wait to see you next week. <laughs> Thank you for watching Class Act, and tune in again for the next episode.